hey, we've been playing with the card window in FileMaker 16 and seeing if there are places where it would make sense to use in the calendar. And there are a few that are pretty cool. So I want to show you what those look like. And then we have an unlocked file, an unlocked copy of this file linked to our blog post where you can kind of take these script changes if this is uh, stuff that makes sense for you. Um, so here's uh, what we're doing. So normally when you look at an event in the calendar, we show this little popover and it's got a drawer. You can use that to select resources. It's pretty cool. But some people want to see these in their own layouts. And previously we showed those in a new window, but here's what they look like in a card window, which is pretty great. And you can make this kind of as big as you want and show your own layout. And in this case, I've hidden the default close button. So the only way out of this is to click our close button, which is great because if I want to switch this to a different day, I can click our little close button and you see it moves over to a different day. So really seamless, which is pretty cool. Um, I think the other place this makes sense is when you're working on layouts that aren't the calendar. So here I'm over at a contacts layout. You can see I have a portal of a contacts events. And when we wanted to make a new event for this contact, we used to do it like this. We would bring up um, a new window and you would have to kind of close it and then it would show up over here. Um, not a great experience, but not bad. So two ways to do this in the card window now. One is, well, first of all, you can just bring up a, the calendar in a card window, which is cool. Um, I would probably uh, default to the sidebar being hidden because it looks a little weird when it's hidden. And I might even make my own close button and ho hide this one. But uh, it works really well and you know, drag and drop's all functioning and it's, it's pretty cool. Calendar works really well in a little card window like this. Okay, so how do we wanna make events? So here's the first option. We're gonna basically make a new event for that current contact on the current day. Here we are. And just drop it right here. So when we say done, here it is. I can move it to a different day. So this is Wednesday. And when I close this, there it is for Wednesday, which is uh, pretty great. Um, but what if I'm not sure exactly where I want to make it and I may want to see the schedule first. So this is pretty cool. We kind of, with this method, we bring up the calendar, but we've kind of dropped a token to say, hey, when you make a new event, make it for the contact we were on, in this case, Bill. So now I can move around, I can go over to the schedule view and be like, ah, oh, we have some space over here. It says here, meet with Bill. And when I click save, now we're gonna link it to Bill, which is great. I can change it, reschedule it, do all that stuff. I wanna hit close. Now we have a 10 o'clock event for Bill, which is pretty great. So a couple of really neat uh, uses for the calendar there. I think the calendar looks really great in the card window. And again, this is just the native sizing and centering. You can go further and make it uh, bigger or smaller. But um, I think this is pretty cool and I hope you like it. Thanks.